control. Oh, Shock Dart going to be dodged there by Azo, who gets away with his life for now. Recon Bolt goes in, but so does the shot from Nation. It's all up to Jungle Bear to try to hold here on the A site. Oh, it's a little bit awkward as he gets forced underneath Heaven. But he has the crosshair oh, placement to make it work. The spam gets a headshot with his crosshair pointed at the body. Absolutely ridiculous that the man is still alive and Peace One have to fight for their way back in. But Jungle Wear doing it for three. One for Major. He's got a helping hand in Major just around the corner. Spotted though. Ronski going to be able to dash the whole way in. Slowed for the moment. And Clutch are in very decent positions to play for post lane. But Azo fast on this flank is going to be knocked down a notch. This is a bit of a nightmare for Bliss. They're losing guns right and left. Quesh is going to make some decent use of that uh, Spectre. But with the Operator dropped over towards A main, that is something that pretty easily here. You can oh. see Peace pick up. That is a bit uncharacteristic. Ronski getting caught with his pants down. The rest of Peace playing for A main. And Bliss are going to give this... position is known. And there's another Guiding Light to play with. Peace are in a very good position just to get... For a little bit, but they're going to still kick this off. Well... In they come, and Ronski again, leading by example. Cloudburst down, but it's not enough to stop. The bullet from coming towards him. Major finds one, two through the smokes, and he's going to be extremely happy with that. Seekers invested by Clutchy now, just getting that information that there's two players in CT and one on site. Now, where do Peace go from here? Because there's still a man down, and they can isolate this fight, but the flank comes in from Azo, too sharp there with the Sheriff. You know, it's so much harder for Peace to get back in. Oh, he knows that Clutch is in the corner, lines that one up and connects as well going forward and also save his team a little bit of money oh big pick to kick things off there so hey so happy with that one and goes for a big rotation too or at least tries to sell the sound fake clutchy Trailblazer in his way in there's the info stun up for azo but the man's safe for the moment slow push Continuing just to silently contact him, but it's going to be Azo pushing through two right clicks and maybe oh, even the no. third. There you bloody go. Four a. kills in the round. The man wants the ace, but Ronski says no. Nah, do sometimes be a bit of a uh, momentum play up. <laughs> and uh, getting a 4k like that, he's got the blind from Major ready to go. Azo's on the judge, actually, and he's going to farm up a storm. <laughs> two kills and a lot of damage on the Sicko who gets caught trying to go oh. for the res. Major, a little bit weird. To try to just go and stick that res straight away might have been a little bit ill-advised in terms of just mm. transferring his spray in that regard. But after all said and done, an awkward exchange for both teams, and we end up in a three-on-three map. Res comes through eventually. Far right. enough to deny sound to Jungle Wow, and a lot of this being heard by Fuechus. That's a great little spray through the wall. Mm. Gets the numbers, and that's what they're after. Clutchy, though, the man's gone for an aggressive play and has to find the time. He knows someone's going to be close, and Fuesh is tagged up through the smoke. Clutchy is happy with just the single for the moment, and we'll team up with Nation just to try to play together on site, making a huge amount of noise, though, in doing so, and Fuesh is starting to force his way in. Now, could have seen that heal coming through as Fuesh is just waiting for any information, edging forward. Easy. Has this recon bolt and just off the back of it. Okay, Guiding Light gets some information, but Fuesh is still trying to find a line. Oh. And there's the lineup. The triple for the man. Two Flash up short from Peace, but really the main point of contact is over towards this B side of the map. You've got Fuesh and Major over here, both with their ults ready to go. But outside of that, the rest of the team all over towards that A side of the map. And you've got Clutchy controlling the rotations from top mid as well. So that could be a problem for Bliss. Let's see if they can crack something open. It's going to be Sicko finding one through the wall, and Major is walled off at the back of sight too. So, we'll be able to run around if he wants. The sound obviously not there, but Azo is. He's going to be able to come in with the knives for one, but the trades come through, and that was a well-coordinated bust from Bliss. Another flash or just to Paranoia. Yep, really slowed things oh. down. Very quick push from Ronsky here, but the Paranoia going to slow Peace out in A main, and now you've got some of the Astro you kill as well. All the way in, that crossfire works for a couple, but Clutchy able to crack it open with the Sheriff. Now, there's the A site, and the defenders are still on this rotation back in. Easy to heaven. And the Seeker going to be stuck at the door for the moment. Quesh he's going to be heading that direction. Oops, spam through as we are going to see an attempt at a lineup. Easy's just trying to figure out where to hit it, and Clutchy gets tagged by it. But this Cosmic Divide is still in the damn way. Quesh going in now with the drone over towards the door, Sicko. Yet another 
uh, on the go lineup, just trying to make sure those shock attacks get any damage done. Nation, he's going to be stuck on site, but he's able to fight well for two. And there you have it. Jungle Whale is still alive, and Bliss are happy to play five on five for the retake. Yeah, where's this KO ult going to come in? That's what I'm wondering. That would just make their lives very difficult from Bliss. Does seem like there's going to be a fight for Catwalk here, Matt. Certainly does. Nation, he's going to be going forward, feeling a little bit sharp now. Flash around the corner and Peace, they are looking to fight fire with fire. They want this tree control, but look at Bliss. They're all just on the other side of the Archie lineup, but Nation finds himself the third. Oh, not quite the fourth. It's 10th side of Snatcher away. And now there you damn have it. It's Jungle Whale to one on three, and it looks like it's way too much for him to deal with. Ronsky's here, making sure he can't pull this mid control. Early guiding light forces Azo off the line, who doesn't have to, or well, can't invest that tailwind out because he is suppressed in the corner. Easy trying to snipe some with the Hunter's Jubit. Ronsky's gone forward, almost finds two, but Mage is there to trade. Oh, now Azo dashing forward. I don't think he intended that. Unfortunately, ends up losing his life. This round gets even messier as we head into a three on three. Surely that res is going to be available for Fleshus. He's going to get the Sova back up and alive, but uh, he actually gets suppressed by the KO ult, so he can't utilize his res. Oh, well, damage already done from jungle. Man just stood and delivered for two. And Tensai unable to get to safety, so it is just going to be the plant. He's just caught a plenty, and he's got the line as well, so doesn't even have to invest anything but the shot to pick up the first kill, and he's going to be going over the top two. However, Nation, quick flick to trade, but Azo's already snatched two away. Yep. Going to see Fleshes playing around this site. Easy's going to try to uh, give him a little bit of support in terms of that dart. Just bide his time to get back into the site. Oh, such an awkward situation with the Cosmic Divide coming right down the middle. The Nation has it to play around, but he's not expecting the swing from Fleshes. And there you have it. Clutchy playing a dangerous game there with the Frenzy. Ronski going to be stuck here at Pizza, but he's able to fight his way out. Fast flank coming through from Clutchy as well. And he's, he's just looked at Major, and I think he wanted a little bit more, so try to use the trigger discipline, but he beat. Peace players can position appropriately. Yeah, still got a flash here for 10 side. Easy. It's been a bit... Okay. Ooh, early stun coming through there. A gets a lot of information there. Meanwhile, Peace... They're trying to put a lot of premium and emphasis over towards middle, and they're going to try to take a fight towards B-Link here. But unfortunately, Tensai not aware that there was so many players over here. Peace are just getting peaked at long ranges up against rifles. That is really not what they want on their bonus round. Uh, definitely not. Nation in the corner. They've completely down, forgotten dude. that he could be hanging around. And there goes the spike. That's a world of information. Azo on the aggression. It works wonderfully. He, Azo's in the other team's spawn at 1 minute 30. He's where he they is. buy guns and he's getting kills <laughs> as well. Uh, this man's unhinged. And oh, and Ronsky pulls it back with the knives. My entrance, if he can. He's got the Astro Utility down here for jungle, so not going to have the opportunity to. That's a good, well-timed molly, though. That's going to keep them in B main. Nice shot from Easy, though. Yeah, still that ult popped from Tensai. Looks like Blissa all the way back, and oh, Mage has found himself for lineup. The sneaky man at window gets another bit of control. Now, of course, Astra out of the equation, so they're stuck into the hands of Bliss, and that will send them to 11. Knife across to make sure no one's pushing him, or if they are, all bark for now. Azo has to get away from the dangerous position. No push in from his just yet. However, a knife comes through. That's extra information. And finally, the flash is there. And so are Peace. Both facing. Keep Azo stuck at the cutout. And as Tensai, look at how much influence he's had with the medal already. Ronsky trying to get away with more, but it is just Tensai shredding through Bliss at the moment. All flicks up. Had the read. The Fleshes was going over the top. And now Fleshes comes in clutch. Let's see if there's going to be too much to hold. Tensai, oh, cannot find any this round as... We are going to see the Hunter's Fury coming through. Ezo cannot get to side either, so it's just getting a little bit awkward and clutchy during all the chaos. Has smashed his way through mid, has control his position, and there's still so much time to play with. Major falling to Nation, and it's up to Fleshes again. He did it. And it's one that takes advantage of all of that economic damage that they were doing previously. Key to see what Bliss will go for here. Really wouldn't mind the half play, and I think it's sensible to do so. No reason to throw caution to the wind with your sixth round. Looking to try to sell this B fake, going to create a little bit of space for Azo to come into sight here. And oh, it's caught Tensai with his pants down completely. All of the rotations heading over here, except for the Astra. Oh, and now he has to pull out the secondary, but oh, he's just drawn so much attention. But look at this nation, he's just waiting on the other side of the smoke. We do have Omen God aggressive, Major works it. Oh my lord, how's that worked out?
20 seconds to play it now, and it's still going to be a three-on-three. Three. Major, again, in the best position, tries to hold the spray. Bursting away, it's only good for one. It. And still a chance. No one shot at it either, but in come peace. Now, area. it's going to be double one set up for Bliss as well. Recon Bar, <laughs> Dump Bolt is there. Tensai almost caught with 20 HP. He's going to go for the half stick. In comes that swing. It's going to be the jump. Hit, though, That's and he's on A, all on his own with it, so... Let's see what the effectiveness is. Okay, managed to take an early battle okay. at range, and so it does not work out for He's him. tried to catch Tensai walling A there, which is an interesting one. It's not too uncommon to see the A wall. This mid-fight, oh my god, Peace are just sending it. Are they on defense? I'm not sure. I think we've got the side swapped around. Through heaven, this contact could be huge, but is he going to look the right direction? No is the answer, and these players are still here towards B. He's got timing. Precious going to wall himself, oh. take a risk of his own over in towards CT. He's got a multi-frag. In fact, both of these players have to multi-frag or die. We've seen a couple of big clutches and clips from Jungle with the Ghost. Look at that as well. They know that the wall was there, so they've all gone through heaven, and this big flank is coming through. Jungle just needs to buy as much time as he possibly can, and time is there. Side of the map, and already is starting to see some fights towards heaven. Okay, I comes out as well. They're trying to deal with this star at the same damn time, and it gets a little awkward, and Fresh just will fall. So... Oh, peek behind the molly for Clutchy, and that's going to net another. So, Bliss now may be in trouble, but Azo has that judge in hand, and he wants to cause some mayhem. Ronski now just running in solo again. But knife out, and Nation will pick up too. So, Jungle Bow's got a lot of work to do. Sicko knows his position too. Is that turret not quite facing the right direction, but Nation will be their ground, making sure there's no aggression from the defenders. Ronski, speaking of aggression, this man thrives in it. Yeah, but uh, maybe, unfortunately, not as much as he might have liked to tap straight into bed from me. So, Kachi's already occupying this territory, taking some duels with that Spectre and armor. These pistols trying to get some work, trying to get some damage done as the B-Split kicks off. Major is causing absolute havoc in middle right now, and the rest of Bliss trying to kick off this B-Split. And they're just holding the main control for the moment as Major rotates in. Ball's in the way as well, and Sicko, he's stuck right here in the gravity well. And oh, it's an awkward situation. Fuesh will take him down. Just point of contact for both the pit players for Bliss. One towards B, mate. Hmm. It's pretty absurd. Peace on the verge of losing an eco. He has got one nano if he wants to commit that in towards the back of site. Default plant. Mm. Bunch of killjoy utility on the site. Swarm grenade out. And there's that contact. Holding strong. Very true. Now, here it is. Gonna find some impact, Jesus. and there it is. Two easy kills. All they had to land was a couple of shots, and that's all they did as well. Jungle Wow now waiting for uh, and hoping for an over aggression. The swing into mid. There it is. Ronski gonna be swinging in from screens as well. So Fuesh just makes his way to site, and that's the spike in a solid position, but he'll be last alive as Jungle Wow and Easy both get picked off in transition. And it's a five on one for the retake. Fuesh just needs to have probably his biggest game he's seen in the while. There's the first, Ronski, posted on elbow. And the rest of Peace start to posture. Nation. Drop that nano swarm in there as well, but the lineup is there. Finds another Sicko. Isolated fights for Precious. He's still untouched at the moment. He's got a res. He's got a heal. He's got a damn wall to play with too. And he's going to go up over to the top fight. Really? Another isolated fight. The Tensai pulls out the secondary in the classic. So Can't get it over the line. Walk towards A where there's three Peace players lying in wait. Oh, well. Here's Ronski, poised and at the ready, and he's going to get picked off as well. Azo, able to hold the flank through, and now Spike's on site, and plenty of time to get this Spike planted. Azo still dominating a main. This is going to be very hard for Peace to crack back in, but, you know, a good timing. May just go their way in a moment. Close range with the Judge, and it will beat the Operator of Azo. There it is, back to the 3-on-3, three three, and now we are kicking. Sicko, he wants a couple of shots in here as well. You've got the Killjoy. Oh, just going through, three seconds remaining, and in comes that push. It's all up to Jungle Wow. And he's making it look pretty damn good for the moment. Here on site, isolates a fight. Gravity well on top, and Sicko flicks it onto the noggin. There it is, headshot picked up, and another round for Pete. And it's a bait, it's a setup. They're hoping that Peace pushes onto the line, and there it is. However, the lockdown gets destroyed. So Sicko does his job, but it cost him his life. I mean, they got a kill out of it, I guess. That's something, and honestly, they put a lot of pressure on this B site, which has drawn the rotations back. Peace well aware that 
They need to make sure they don't over-rotate here. And now Bliss with the Manda Fanchies. Knives still on Azo. What have they got to work with in terms of weaponry? Still basically Knives plus Sheriffs and Spectres. But we've seen this work before. They've got that Empress. They've still got the Cosmic. And they've got a man advantage, so this could be a recipe for success, but going back towards B here means going into the Killjoy setup. Yeah, there's also a couple of stars that he managed to pick up on transition, but Tensai close range has this judge, and he's going to say, Azo, look what I can do, but Azo says, nah, mate, I'll do one better. Getting a couple of kills there with the knives going up here in the smoke, and Ronsky, oh, the timing, it's huge. Ronsky might be able to deny the plant from here. But he's found one on the Azo. However, Jungle gets oh. the spike planted, so has some time to play with. Says thanks for the smoke, mate. Keeps him alive. Ronsky walks onto his line, but Clutch, he's got the trade. Up from Heaven there. Three players all centralized around Heaven here, trying to isolate Azo. Ooh. He just goes and goes and goes, doesn't he? Flash in the way, but so are two <laughs> of the bees. Karma. Inside. Again, gets it done with the judge. Yeah, Ooh. That, that's karma for Azo. If anything, Ronsky being a, bit, a little bit quiet today, but that's a nice 2k in a critical gun round that could actually make a bit of a difference. Nation again, rock solid in towards heaven, peeks out on the line, takes Major out of the equation, and now Jungle must 1v5 or Peace's money will be broken, and uh, oh. Peace's money will be will be great, and Bliss's money will be broken. Oh, Ronsky oh, takes sick. out that turret. Rip, rip Wally. Well, he's out. Again, he's just going to be jumping around, trying to utilize this judge, because he's been judged a few times now, and he's had it bloody know. enough. Now, Vandal <laughs> in the hands, and almost heaven as well. Clutchy's gone all the way in through B main, but Jungle Wow with a heads-up plate takes the head straight off of Clutchy, and it is just going to be two players at the moment, still over towards that B site, one at eight. But all this happening means Sicko is uh, pretty close to the fast rotation nation. He's got that turret on towards the ramp, and he's in a solid position to deal with these ropes. The two-man peak. And... Wow. Ah, ooh, accuracy on those zip lines, hey? Let's talk about that. Uh, um, that's a conversation for another day, but that was gorgeous <laughs> for Bliss. Great coordination. Felt like I was watching, like, Mission Impossible or something, the way that they were on those zip lines. That was gorgeous. Either way, though, True. Bliss, wall across elbow. Plant goes down for Fuerchus. It's a crossfire between Hell and Sight. Well, Fuechist, he's been popping off this half. Unfortunately, it hasn't converted to too many rounds, but is this one of the rounds that it will? It certainly is. Jungle Wow from below. An excellent defensive side after kind of getting slapped on the first map. And Ronsky not aiming for the turret this time. He's going to continue their streak here on, mm. uh, on the split defense. Here. It takes him out, and that spike is down. Still behind B main, but mid control is there for now. And you got Tensai in the corner again. This time, not with the judge, though. However, is he going to be cleared out? I in a solid position, but it doesn't hit Tensai. And now, able to fight. There's one, and not quite the second, but he is just poised on this line. Mm. He's in a nice tight angle as well. He's going to be able to pick up the first. Knows the questions is crossing. Spots the second. Tries to rip away that tailwind just going in. Not quite the optimal direction. Jungle Wow now. And have the cover of the wall to get that plant down. And... In the two-on-two, two, it's another round which could come down to the wire. Yeah, you got the lockdown, though, as well as the Cosmic. These are two of the best ultis to complete a retake in the game. So I dare say Peace are feeling quite confident heading into this one. But Fleshes and Jungle have been clutching up these rounds all day. Well, Jungle taking point. He's oh, just waiting for a line. I think he may have spotted the shoulder at the end. And we do now have the Nano Swarm in the way. So that one's going to be popped in the half stick for sure. But it might just be the whole damn wrangle through. Sicko can't find two. And in comes that defuse. A moment. Smoke goes up and there's a world of noise being made. But it looks like it may just be the B-Site commitment depending on how this one goes. Nano Swarm's in a very solid position. And Ronsky could just be left out on an island. Spike starting to come through, and in comes that damn kit. There's 13 seconds. Over the top he goes. There it is. Blade Storm comes through. This jungle wear to hit the deathly blow, though, and there's only a few seconds to get this spike planted. Oh, my lord. Azo, what are you doing? Pushing in through the Blade Storm there. It's enough to trade it back, and now there's a na numbers advantage for Peace on the retake. Yeah, you get the Cosmic across the side as well. This is going to really segment Bliss. 
Yeah, oh. completely isolated. Easy here's all of the footsteps. Surely his teammates are gonna go through and help him out. Jungle oh. Wow, the spray control again. There's the Empress being pain are doing so much damage. You can feel that Bliss are in such an awkward position and they're gonna still try and force this spike oh. down, but the spike plant uh, carrier goes down. And look at this slow flank coming through. Tensai is going to come here in a moment, but Jungle Wow gets almost two before making that one happen. He did! Landed the last couple of shots, and Tensai, they know that he's on that flank. Cosmic Divide is still activated, but still, the spike needs to be planted. Yep, there's the res back. Both of the Sages getting those reses in. This time it puts the Peace oh. Boys into a four on two. That wall really not being where Easy would have wanted it. And now Azo, oh. rough position for the man. Not too much. Uh. Wesh is spotted. He's going to be stuck in the side, but has Major at Heaven to help him out. Unfortunately, the transfer there with the Frenzy is no good. The tracking off the mark, and Ronski picks up another on the entry. Peace are going to be extremely happy with the the sight, the man advantage, the list of advantages they have go on, but the post plants are probably leave more to be desired. Yeah, it's going to be a difficult one to get back in. Obviously, that Sage Wall across screens only gives them entry oh. from a main as well as Heaven, and uh, Azo's been clearly denied there, gets dinked Last off the bat. Standing. And they know where Jungle Wow is as well. It's been pretty sharp, but has a whole lot of classics to get past there, and it's the jumping right clicking now. Bliss going to try to give this one a crack. Very, very quick push straight out of A, and this time Matro is going to make up for a bit of a whiff last round. Easy in the back of the site, has to hold on for the rotations to come in. Just gets that one-for-one -one trade off, and is it going to be enough easy playing around that turret? Spam's coming in through default here too. Trying to isolate the fight, but Nation hitting everything at the moment. Don't stand in this man's way. Fuesh just has to try to find how to get into sight, but there's a nano swarm in the way. It's not going to be popped initially, but now he's going to be stuck in at the corner. Sicko finds him. And it's up to Azo. Man's got another judge, but he needs to close the distance. However, Sicko's going to be doing that one for him. Wrap a third and puts them on map point two. So Peace are really wanting to take this game to Haven. I dare say so. And I think that will be a extra approach here at mid, trying to break that wall for Ronski to have some more impact with that judge. And again, he's going to close the distance. Quest just could not stop the man. And it's going to be Blade Storm for more impact, finding themselves the double already. Ten sight. Trying to catch up the jungle wow here, but close range. That Spectre is dangerous. However, at this range, up against the Guardian, can he find another pick? Both the defenders extremely split. You've got Jungle on one side. You've got Major on the other. And it looks like the spike is going to go towards the A side of things. Push from Jungle, and maybe he'll have a flank at some point, but Major on the Vandal has to go big. Oh, Clutchy! Definitely, maybe. And all oh, around the corner, finds himself the wall bang. Not a Sam. Good time. Looks like it's going to be broken up already just by a couple of spams coming in through those smokes. But in come peace as well. Ronski looking to take point, but he's going to be found. There's first blood just in through the crazy chaos that is the spam here over towards lower. Upper, however, Sicko gets knocked down at heaven. It's going to be Azo for three already. Clutchy trying to do this all on his own, but he has to go for the reload. And West just will knock him down and not swing you like a champion. As is this round. Man's already on the front of side of B. 20 seconds in and the spike's planted. Peace now setting up for the retake in a 5 on 5. He had that suicide plant go straight in there. A lot of utility invested in that. You see that uh, Astra orb on top of the site just to be able to have a one way. There's the retake wall. Sage wall going in there for Peace who do have a pretty big weaponry advantage. A couple of flanks oh. coming out here for Bliss. No one tapping it just yet, though, so it hasn't forced out this rotation. And, oh, Major spotted, dealt with by Nation as well, but there's no one on the spike at the moment. It's a little bit interesting, and the half-stick has not come through. Quest is still just waiting, and hit him with the guiding light. No one can see the damn thing, but Jabba Gawel has been to find the timing, and time is not what he's going to find. It's Nation to stick it there. By the trail blazer up short, and oh, no. oh, Ronski over the top finds one onto Azo Major, unable to found themselves in. Oh, two coming back, but are they going to have the guns out? They certainly will. Fwesh just heads up to expect the flank already, and that might have just made the numbers look a little better. However, Ronski's got something different on his mind. Already three for the round, but that res has come through earlier, so could pick up six kills in total if he wants it. He's going to try that. He goes for the right click in the cloud burst and manages to get it with the vandal instead. Now he's on for the ace. There it oh. is, and not the sixth though. Quest just still in a position to maybe make this one happen. There's a smoke in the way, he has to try to line it up, and he manages 
out-rotate their opponents and get into this post plant, but this is just, it's not been working for them. They haven't been winning these XVXs a lot of the time. Let's see if they can give this one a crack. They've got the lockdown, but you've got the KO ulti. I really like what Azo's done with this wall. Half of it's going to be broken, but he's still able to hide here in the corner. Even though there was the open position, Peace are trying to get rid of the majority of it, and there it is. A little bit of impact, but it's onto Tensai, who's resable. Ronsky, though, trying to make some space. In comes that res, and it's a two on five for the post plant. There's that kill joy. It's bought so much extra time, but now Major has to fight on his own, and Ronsky's way too sharp with this operator. Blade Storm not going to work out this time, but it's Nation with the Vandal to do it. Something I want to point out as well. Last time we were watching, whoop. That's a, it's a thought for another time as Ronsky's already taking a bit of damage and it's a fast approach from Bliss straight into the side of Major. Can't get across the top. However, the showstopper connects and now has that boom bot as well to just zone away towards Akon. All right. Siko shocked that and falls back for the moment. Fueshish with another and Bliss. They do have the numbers advantage now. Fuesh, just, he's just taking a fight all on his own, though, so maybe not the advantageous one to take. Spike planted eventually, and it's on this B side. It's got to be jungle. He's in the most important position. If he finds this pick on oh. nation, picks up a rifle, then that's really going to cut down the amount of angles that Bliss have to deal with. It's all on Tensai. He's trying to come up middle here, but there's just too many players. There's one behind him. This is going to be a half by one by Bliss. Absolutely. So, I think this is one of the first times we've got to see him with that KO instead. Oh Big God. pick again from Ronsky. Man's just holding W and it's working. Yeah, may just trying to do it as well, but it didn't work for him. No. Fortunately, some of us are more gifted than others. Um, headed to the 4 on 3 here. I mean, a 5 on 3. Great wall across the garage. Secures the res. I mean, Tetsai's just wondering if he's ever going to get any kills at this rate. He's, he's in the perfect position. He's like, all right, Rodsky can't get on this angle. Surely I'm in the perfect position. No way. No, Rodsky, go away. Oh, Orb as well. Both of these players so aggressive. Jungle Wow going to be holding down the flank, but there's the operator on the other side of the map that they just were not ready for. Oh, Hello. He's the elbow, knows that he's in the astral form, and there you have it. Rodsky with another opening again. Two already. One for Nation, and it's all up to easy to make this happen. Sicko coming in from the side, and there's nothing that easy. I mean, if they can get back into it at this point, they're walled off. Ooh, oh, okay. They send it back in, Mac. Huge. Good timing on this one. Sicko going to be coming over the top, but no one connecting. They've oh, not Nate. managed to stop the spike from going down as well. Nathan just barely misses initially, but it picks it up on the post as Major falls before the paint shells go off. Now, it's a three on three, and certainly a winnable round for Bliss. Cosmic Divide comes through for the Defenders now just trying to make a bit of noise and uh, not wanting Bliss to know where they're coming from. Oh boy. Flash comes in. They're going to try to bust through that cosmic. Azo's got himself a double. You got Fleshers playing off the back of the bird and you got this last player, Sicko. He's so low. You basically sneeze on the man and he would go down. Probably not advisable in the, the current, you know, pandemic life. But no, it's more than good true. enough for Fleshers to close it out. So. 5v5 for the retake again. We've been in this situation before, and there's a whole lot of util to use. That lockdown still in play, and it's going to be dropped in the middle of sight. So, buys themselves an extra 12 seconds, and Peace able to establish their positions for the retake. Absolutely. They're going to push with it, actually. We've seen this for Bliss before. The flash push off the back of the lockdown, and it worked for them in their last game, but this time it is absolutely backfired. Rotsky just runs in. He starts absolutely hammering his right click button. The right mouse button, you love to see it. The guiding light, not going to force him off the line nice. the first time, but a second one popping him straight back. Oh, in comes the showstopper, oh, no. and there's absolutely no impact from it because Ronsky's gone for the repeat. Man's now pushing his way into short. Azo knife out, and that is not how you get a kill, my friend. Ronsky oh, runs on God. top. He finds himself the quad and the ace to close us out at the heart. So, oh, again, it didn't work in the other pistol, but he's running it back again, and he knows that there might be the wall over the top, so even jungle make this one work nicely. Big damage already onto Tensai, who's going to continue to try and fight, but it is going to be the spike down on site. And Nation in a one-on-four to try and clutch. Yep. First point of contact is the turret, and that's it. Turret's dealt with. Gorgeous. Now he's he's got free passage to walk into the B site, and he's only got four more, four more players to take down in some kind of crazy triangle setup. It couldn't be easier for the man.
the spot in it anyway, just in case this is a reality. But at the moment, with all of that Killjoy Util, they don't expect him in this position. And there it is. First contact comes through. Boombot going to be tapped for now. And 30, 30 seconds. seconds. So Nation has some time to go and reload. One tap, but not the second as easy hits him with the Dooblade. What do you know? Five on. Really got a couple tricks up their sleeve as well. Oh, Azo putting on his best Ronsky impression and on the Sage too. So dangerous position to be in, but oh, Major's going to be going in under that one. Not working out though. Nation heads up play to keep the gun out just in case, and it's the short push that doesn't work out again for Peace. So now stack A site on the defender side of things, and Peace will slow down for now. Good, I heard. That's going to be the third into long. That's going to confirm there's still players over here, and I mean, the rotations are still looking great for Bliss. Hmm. Now in comes Questions in Jungle, trying to hold Azo. Looks the wrong direction at the wrong moment, and all of a sudden, Peace are straight back into the round. It's a two-on-one. And they've got full control of the site. Easy. He's been in the rough position before, and there is a very good setup here from both Sicko and Clutchy. Sicko able just to swing on the contact, but Easy... Which line does he clear first off? Oh. Passive position around his util. Over on that C site. And we do see this aggression down A long. Mm hmm. Brunsky is waiting for that jump spot, waiting for the circle jump, and he's been given it as well. Mm -hmm. Easy. Goes for that circle jump, looking for info off the back of that drone towards A, and Ronsky instantly punishes for it. Look at all that utility in towards the front side of the site that is just never going to get to see the light of day. Yeah, well. We'll see if Jungle's going to be able to hold. Just waiting for that Recon Bolt to come through, but it pulses on him, and Nation takes his head right off. There's the C site. Now, Bliss, three men on the flank, and Nation's on the line. Not cleared initially. Major just swings away, and Nation could be on for more than one. Seiko coming in to help out his teammate, but Azo feeling it now with the Phantom pre-firing around the corner, and he's still untouched, so maybe a chance here. Two on two, Ronsky just trying to deal with the push in through Garage. Man can't see a thing, and he still connects on that. That is complete ridiculousness. Now, Azo has to try to pick up the pieces, but Ronsky's in his way, as is Tensite. Just playing up on the plat, waiting for the moment. Ronsky happily takes bomb, but I dare say he's more worried about getting 13 on the board. Open that ticket to an A. Ten side gets that plant down easy. We'll have the lockdown to play with, and he's just going to drop it there at the ice wall. So just clearing out as much of the site as possible. There's only going to be Ronsky left back on the back of site who can play with it. But there you have it, Hunter's Fury invested to... Make sure that the lockdown does not pop. Okay, in comes the res, but Ronsky's missed every single knife there. On the head, at least. There's Clutchy swinging in, trying to hold. It's him and Sitko Tensai. Look at that. The recipe working out for them at the moment. But Jungle Wow's alive, and Clutchy wants to find the timing to swing back around. Tensai just gaining as much info as possible. Oh, but a tight little line found, and there you have it. Clutchy with the treasons. And Peace are on match point. What a bloody performance. 30's in for Ronsky there. And Peace, one round away from going to NA. The force straight in oh. towards C site. Ronsky's already in there. Azo trying to be cheeky in the smoke, but Ronsky goes back, does his two Heads up with that play. Either way, Peace now just rerouting back towards the A site. And this is where the numbers stayed for Bliss now. So let's see if some damage can come through. Paint shells and Fresh is both going to connect. Tensai is hitting everything and finds himself the double. Now, jungle out. He wanted to go on that flank, but he hears these footsteps coming back. Seekers as well went so damn deep through the walls. The jungle needs to go now, but he's got his knife out. And oh, Seekers round the corner. Peace.